what I've always known is that they were visionaries. These teachers and administrators, right from the very beginning, were very excited about alternative education. They had people from Outward Bound, they had offbeat high school teachers, real change agents, people that certainly wanted to push the education boundaries in many different ways. Tom Limblade, who was really an innovative educator, his role as the head of field studies, global education at the time, was to infuse alternative learning and all of these outward bound like classes into the curriculum. The overall atmosphere, I think, for everybody was, this is a very creative place and people, a place that really respects students. So if you had a proposal for something and you could make the case that it was better for students, you could almost always get it done, at least I was able to. I think the field studies program is the crown jewel of the College of DuPage because I'm a big believer in experiential learning and I know a lot of teachers have gone in to, um, to propose programs that seem a little crazy but they've always you know, gotten great support. They've taken students to China, they've taken students to, um, to Russia, to Cuba. Um, all over the world and what a wonderful opportunity for students as well as community, community members to, um, to partake in. Time was one of the first of the long international trips we did. After that I did eight trips to Africa and so I've been in through most of Eastern Africa, Southern Africa and uh, so we had uh, I think 20 people on each one of those trips. I took students to Yellowstone National Park uh, I was very involved in field studies. I was their librarian too for, for a long time. So we would do that and we did bike trips, we did all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, uh, and that's one of the ways you can learn uh, is, by, is by doing things. I had a student once who was, didn't really know what he wanted to do and I advised him to take some of the field studies classes. And he took a course, he took a class, he went up to Wisconsin on one weekend to go spelunking. And he came back and his life was changed. My God, this was incredible. I can't believe this. This was so great. And he's, he's going on and on and on about it. It was one weekend in one field studies experience that he had. And from then on, he was, you know, he was involved in school and, 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 and he, he found a focus that he was excited about. And, and that's what we were doing. We were, we weren't just offering courses. We did a couple of classes in Florida, going to study seashells. We went to uh, Nova Scotia, and I did Canadian literature, and he taught, uh, again, marine biology. So I, I designed several other courses as well. Leading study abroad programs to Canterbury and to Costa Rica, and um, I did a course um, on housing in Chicago. This is probably one of my uh, strongest memories where we looked at every level of housing in the city of Chicago. So we visited um, Dearborn Homes, public housing. We visited SROs, single room occupancy. And we were reading uh, some of Studs Terkel's working um, and about the kind of um, socioeconomic diversity of Chicago and how it affected housing. And so we went out and explored it. I ran a field study a week in Mexico, Mexico City primarily, uh, another one in uh, Egypt and Greece, and another one in Greece and Italy, taking students for two weeks and uh, having um, a set itinerary and lectures, and they had coursework they had to do. I got involved with trying to come up with a field studies course where we would actually go out and chase storms. And, and this is something that had never been done at an undergraduate level. They had done it for research, but I thought, well, what a great experience and the people here at COD, Pat Keir was the dean at the time, uh, really encouraged me to try it and to be daring and to do new things. In terms of diversity, not just in terms of the quantity of programs, but the quality of our field studies and the kinds of programs we offer, I just think is unparalleled. And I, th I think it draws students here, but also um, it draws faculty too, because you have these incredible opportunities to teach, um, again, kind of for writers, teach you know, connecting the word to the world. The more direct experience you can bring into a course, the better the learning is for the student. And there's all kinds of research that backs that up. But as I said, lecture is probably the worst way to teach anything. There's no other program like that in the whole country, maybe in the world, that, that offers credit for direct experience like field studies does. There's nobody else that does that any, anywhere around here for sure.